You got Mitch and Mac on the pod tip. Had these bitches doing backflips. Came in the game with nothing to lose, and now we here to stay and got something to prove. All you other podcasters, back up, cause we here now. Get down off the throne and hand us our crown. It's a dynamic duo. From Park Kites to Cherry Hill, and the shit he came across. It's no fiction, all real Can't forget about BP Cause her segment and be on point All I guess do rapid fire Just pick this or that joint So listen up, we got something to say All you haters better stay away Or we heat the situation up and have it ringing Just like it was the end of May Two niggas that's hilarious Conversations have you furious I just got one question Nigga, are you serious? Yo, 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 welcome to another episode of Are You Serious Podcast, where we are a podcast that's a show. And a show that's a motherfucking podcast. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. I'm your host for this evening, Mac, a.k.a. Karaoke Bully, a.k.a. The Mac Train. And over here to my left is Faber, I mean, my my partner. <laughs> oh, boy. It's your man, Mitch. Your girlfriend's favorite barber. We here at 3037. Hamilton Avenue. <laughs> I appreciate that little baby. <laughs> Way to send me over. Way to send me <clears throat> over. Yeah. Okay. How, how was <laughs> how was your week, bro? Uh, my week was cool. Like, act, yo, for some reason, this week felt like it went by fast. It did. It definitely felt like it went by fast. That's why like, it's November already? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. How was yours? It was cool up until today. I think today everybody just they just dispatched everybody to piss me the fuck off. Like, and I've been doing really well. It was like somebody just said, "Let's break this nigga peace." And I think that's what happened today. <laughs> it ain't a soul that ain't break my fucking peace. So, but other than that, the other days you put today, they were pretty good. <laughs> And I've been doing well. <clears throat> yeah, you have. I've been doing well. You've been I coming just, in here floating on Cloud Nine. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody today, like today, they were just like, "Let's get this nigga." That's, it's know. the devil, man. Don't let yeah, him win. Yeah, I, I try. You know, don't, don't let him win, man. Yeah, I know. But you know, you know how that go. Sometimes you succumb. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> and I'm trying not to. Oh, um, and. You want to tell the people about the date change? Oh, okay. So, yeah, you know, last week we announced the party. We're not having it. It's like, nah. Um, <laughs> we had to change the date. So, it's December the 16th. Same venue. Same setup. You know, pajamas. And ugly sweater. Yeah, that. And um, tickets went on sale today, actually, on Eventbrite. Yeah. Uh, if you check... All of our social medias, you'll see the link. Um, yeah, and it's you'll see all the specials and all that shit. VIP, $30, all you can drink, all that good shit. So, yeah, look into that. And what did you do this week? Did you listen to anything? Did you watch anything besides actually, sports? Yeah, I actually listened to um, Jeezy's new album. Oh, that motherfucker bang. I you think so? All, hell yes. It didn't grab me the first what? time around. I listened to it all morning. All 29 songs. I like all 29. <laughs> it didn't grab me. Like, I mean, it was you a couple of songs. once? Yeah, it was a couple of Nigga, it's 29 songs. You gotta, <laughs> listen. But, well, well, you know, see, for what I do, that shit. Yeah, you can, you can yeah, listen to so, it all day, every day. Like, yeah, I can't so I do just, that. But give it another listen, yo. That I'm gonna give it another listen. There's a couple of songs that yeah. you know reached out to me, but yeah. Um, all in all, like it didn't grab me the first time around, so I gotta listen to it again. Yeah, I mean that's how I get like the first time I was like yeah, and then as it kept playing, it, I was like oh shit, and then every like every time I would hear something new on a different track, and I was like this motherfucker tough. I really like it. I listened to Lloyd Banks' new album. Mm. Uh, um. Did you listen to Did you listen to Megan's Megan who Megan the Stallion? No, nah, I'm good. good. That's dope. She went in on some shit. I believe you. She went but, in you on know, some she's, shit. She's not somebody I just run out and you know just listen to. I don't run out, but she had a new song. Like that's what we do. You get on me when I don't do shit like that. When I discriminate. Yeah, but you, you, st- you can't act like that. Okay. <laughs> you can't act like that, yo. You get on me. 
What about did you hear Sierra, Lil Wayne, and Chris Brown? No. The remix? Okay. I didn't so, hear any singles. So I didn't sing hear any. Real? I was just because the Jeezy had my fucking it's 29 fucking oh. songs. I mean, I had <laughs> my, my really, attention, yeah. and then I went straight to Lloyd Banks. Oh, so I couldn't okay. I didn't have no time to listen to nothing else oh, today. See, I listen I listened to Jeezy like three or four times. Yeah, it's way too many. It's an hour and a half. I mean, like I said, I'm working, so and then I did I listened to the Sierra joint. I listened to Megan like later. And she talks about, she tells the people how her boyfriend cheated on her in real life and all that shit. Okay. She called him getting hit in their bed. Damn. Yeah. Tragic. Um, yeah. And then I finally listened to that new Chris Brown song, Sensational with the African nigga or whatever he is. The Vito or the, I don't fucking know. But Afro Beats, am I, am I saying it wrong? No, nah, that's right. But okay. you just said Yo, the African, African, African nigga, nigga is like, wild. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My bad, but hey, I like that. I dig that. Okay. Yeah, DeVito's fire though. Yeah, DeVito is fire. Yeah. Yeah. I got to listen to Mary J. Blige song. I really like it. With the Duvado. <coughs> the rapper Vado? Yeah. Okay. And then there's this new song going around. Well, it's not, apparently it's not that new. I've been kind of like, I guess I was out the loop because it's been out since July. But this song, Water, by this chick Tyler. Never heard of. Give it a listen. It's real. Real what? Sexy. Okay. Yeah. It's real <sighs> sexy. Short. She talking about she want the water. I like it. You mean the one they doing the challenge with? The water challenge? They doing the challenge. Yeah. Shorty's is doing it. Yeah. Shorty's doing their thing. Like this. Yo. Type in water challenge. Ooh. <laughs> nope, I'm not. <laughs> I rebuke. See the devil. There you go again. <laughs> there go the devil again. I'm good on that. <laughs> I rebuke you, Satan. Yep. Yeah, I'm good on that. Nah, but the song is definitely that. Okay. Now I do got a question for you. Go ahead. All right, so I'm a little confused. About this fucking NBA in in season tournament. What the fuck I is don't, it? Listen, I when they was trying to explain it, I didn't understand the explanation. I just know it starts today. Yeah, and but, end in December. but like, what is what and is it though? Would, it's just an incentive for niggas to get money and for them to actually play basketball and not sit out. Yeah, it's um, it's just like That's when all. college do it, like when they do the Big Ten versus the Big Twelve. It's just the same type of yeah. shit. The ACC Big Ten Challenge. Yeah. All that shit, whatever. And they said These, it, but, they did it overseas. So that's why that's why they're really doing it because the overseas players are bombarding the league, so they they just try to bring it over so they can feel more comfortable. And they I want guess. the niggas to play that part because you get money. So if you don't sit out, you know those important games. Yeah, they, yeah, okay, I get that. I get, you know I get that. So yeah, so I, but they tried to explain the rules. I don't understand yeah, how. How the records go or none of that shit. Me neither. Yeah. So I thought I, you know, I thought you may know. So no, I got I irritated. In. I was listening to Richard <laughs> Jefferson and I was like, "Fuck this shit! I don't care." Yeah. I just see who win. I watch the games. When the commissioner was playing it on the first day, it didn't sound right. So. Yeah, so yeah, this is too much. I tell you who has been balling out though. The Knicks. No. <laughs> and they don't never they don't never talk about this nigga, man. Donovan Mitchell. He been balling these. I, I was going to bet on him the other day. and I, I'm, You should have. The I'm nigga, out, I'm, I'm nigga been putting out 30, 40, 30, 29, 28. I'm out, I'm out <laughs> with the betting game for at least two weeks. After that shit Kevin Durant did the other night. I'll need you to hit two <laughs> three-pointers, dog. You hit one. <laughs> My whole parlay was there. All I needed was two three-pointers from you nappy-head fucker. So... I'm out on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm out on batting for a while. I you all right? <laughs> I got to chill. Tell them how you really feel. Right. I got to chill for a minute. So you ain't watch shit, though, but sports? Basically. Yeah, I don't think I... I did see this movie on YouTube called Love and um, Love and Crazy. Oh, that's shit. What <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it's called, Love oh. and Crazy. Sounds like it's about it. this crazy-ass chick, like... 
She don't want nobody with her man. Like nobody. Her, his friends, nothing. <laughs> like if she if you if you if you spending two hours with her man, you gotta go. Well, that sounds like sixty <laughs> percent. I'm gonna mind my business. Like, but I'm gonna mind my business. Say, she's not like she's from Baltimore. <laughs> I'm gonna mind my business. I mean, I know somebody like that, but you know, I'm I know not quite even, a few. I'm not gonna say no names on air, but whatever. I know quite a few. That's why I said that's about sixty percent. But uh, I don't think I watch shit this week for real. Every time I try to get into something, I just be like, I don't feel like it. And then baseball and shit it was the sports on this week. But next week I get on my game because I still have yet to see the rest of Saw. Mm. I saw I half of it on. in the movies. And Speaking I of Saw, I saw uh, Scream Six. There's a Scream Six. Mm-hmm. Jesus, it's like yeah. that though. It is. Yeah. I mean, but I, I'm be honest with you. I, I liked all the screen movies. They was funny to me. I yep. mean, they make me laugh. This one, this one, a little bit more serious, but it's like that though. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sit down and did not watch Tommy. I did not. I know. I, I seen the memes. I had to stay away from um that side of the internet. So yeah, I ain't no. watch it. Yeah, y'all can have it. Hey man, bro, this, you, you better get on, brother. Yo, this yo, this this next episode is going to go crazy. Okay, crazy. Have you have you been watching Loki? No. <laughs> I told you, I, I haven't been really watching anything. Like I tried, like last night, I caught on like three different things, and I couldn't get in enough. I was just like, fuck it. Just I wasn't feeling. I started watching King of Queens. That's, that's what I go to. That's what I. That's what I started watching. That's my go to. Um, I did like I like uh I did see that something happened on that show that y'all watched though. Some somebody snitched on somebody and shit. Let Tommy shit. Oh I, yeah. I was, oh. Hey nigga. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't gonna say nothing because my man over here ain't said yet. But. Yeah. Oh yeah, you see uh, Canaan December first. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. It, it look, the, from the previews, it look all right too. So. I like that series anyway, yeah. though. I like that series better than um. You like it better than uh Tariq. So Curry against baby. I might say I did. So he said that he had them all on his podcast and they was they was ranking them. I might like, say I did. Okay. I think I did. Besides the original power, I think yeah. Kanan. Okay. And then Tariq, yeah, I'm with it. And then Tariq. Yeah. And then Tommy's like, well, I don't know because Tommy he stepped it up. Yeah, this day, this season he moving up in the world. Like yo, I don't know. I don't know. Is that all you got, sir? <laughs> I'm just I was talking to my man's over there behind the camera. You okay, I just asked if you got yeah. anything else for the Jesus. people. No, nah, I ain't got nothing else. They bring Game of Thrones back. Like, watch Mitch get happy. Love it's like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, nah, House of, <laughs> I mean, when, when House of Dragon come on in 2024, the, you know, season two, then I'll be good. But I still like this shit. I really need to like really finish. There's so many shows. Like, like I said, it's like at least six. That I haven't gotten back to, so I'm gonna get it together. But yeah, so here's a word from our motherfucking sponsor. Hey guys, I am Nisha. I am the owner of Liquid Lounge Cocktails. I am one of the sponsors for AYS Podcast, um, but I am the owner and operator and also lead bartender for Liquid Lounge Cocktails. Um, we provide bartending service for any and every event just about in the DMV area. Um, I also do Cocktails to Go, which has been seen on AYS Podcast and Cocktail Kits um, that I specialize in really around holidays, for birthdays, whatever days, um, any occasion. So if you want to reach out please, please, please go to our website at www.liquidloungellc.com. You can book there. You can inquire there. You can look at our work there. Um, also, you can follow us on Instagram at Liquid Lounge Cocktails, all one word. Um, and if you need to call or text, please dial 667-967-0645. Oh, also, 
if you're watching the show, you want to book our services, the fellas have hooked you guys up with a discount code for your bartending services and kits. Um, so use AYS20 when you call or text and reference the podcast. Thanks. And we are back with the shit that I came across. Um... So the first thing I want to talk about, I mean, I had sent it to you when it when I first saw it, is this shit with um, Joe Smith <laughs> and his old lady. So I've been trying to research this shit to see what she really about because I keep hearing like different things of what her occupation right. has been, what it is, right. what it was. They all true. Well, first they said she was a singer overseas, mm-hmm. but then I found out that. She really is a retired adult film star, but she went by yeah. another name. Yep. Yasmin Penn Davis. Mm-hmm. So, my thing is this, right? <laughs> you, if y'all struggling financially or whatever, and they saying that it shouldn't that that shouldn't be the case, because y'all each of y'all got some money tucked away, but. How you just gonna go get an OnlyFans and don't say nothing? Regardless of what you used to do 13 years ago, 14 years ago when we got married, when I met you, whatever the fuck. Why would you go and do that shit? Like, and not say anything. Like, I don't if if you're my old lady, I don't have a problem with you showing your feet on OnlyFans, you know what I mean? For motherfuckers that got feet fetish. You want to dip your feet in yogurt, whatever the fuck it is you want to do with your feet. Maybe even your hands. But anything else, what? <laughs> they all did ass. Like, they, got, they got only hands. That's what I'm that's saying. I know thing. people that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, you know, the foot fetish thing. Yeah. But you just going to go show your whole, you know, like, yeah. I mean, married. But look, she, but she just, said listen. she by herself. She said, I'm by myself doing it. Yeah. It but, don't fucking matter. I just, listen. I understand what you're saying, and I, I agree with you. But at the end of the day, you can go research her mm-hmm. getting fucked. Okay, <laughs> but Hard. now that was before me. <laughs> you, now you, you put, mind I, don't I don't you don't your body didn't change. Them niggas seen that. Yeah, I mean now you don't look. Oh, they, they she don't even ten, look like they that. They seen the tenderoni her. Yeah, she ain't <laughs> she ain't 15 years ago her. You know what I'm saying? She probably got body molds, all kinds of shit now. <laughs> like, you different. You belong to me. I know all this. These new niggas, they don't need to know that. You okay with that? Because well, it sounds like you justify. First of all, I wasn't, oh. being, I wasn't being in a relationship with a porn star anyway. So, that's just... Got you. That's, <laughs> let's just get that... <laughs> but I understand. I, like, I, I'm agreeing with you on the part where... If we in a relationship and you just go out and do an OnlyFans, like you supposed to, well, first of all, you supposed to talk to him before you even do the motherfucker. So I'm agreeing with you there, but she's still a porn star, dog. Mm-hmm. Like you, people can still go see her getting right. fucked. I understand that, <laughs> but that's just you like put you, that you you that's, walk that's you walked like into you, that world though. But that's just like you marrying a stripper, just the same. That's what she used to do. And niggas can reminisce walk, on old you cold. Walk, you walk, but I don't want you. You walk into that world though. But then, okay, all right. So, but then my but my problem with her, not only that, when that man was pissed, oh fuck it, I do what I want to do, blah blah blah. You was talking cash shit. Now this man then left the house. You out this bitch crying. Mm-hmm. What you crying for? I mean, you can't cry. You can't. You nah, talk that tough shit. She was, t- she was tough as fuck. Yeah. No, nah, you can't play that victim role now, motherfucker. I left. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yes. So, 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 Matt. Let me right? hear. Yeah. Let me. So, come so on. Matt, I guess. I so, mean, like, you married Jada Fire, right? Jesus Christ. Right? You married Sorry her. That. She's, she's retired. She's like, I'm, I'm retired. Boom. Y'all fall on hard times. She starts showing her feet or whatever on OnlyFans. You good? I don't mind your feet. Go ahead. I told you I'm good. Yeah, right? With your feet. Yeah, but she. Nigga, nigga. I don't mind. But feet. you know what they're gonna say in the comments, yo? Show me your ass. Like okay, you, they, like, can you know, they, they can say what they want. want. Yeah, yeah. They can say what they want. So she pop it open. You good? No, I'm not good. 
But at the same time, like, I but, but you know what I signed up for uh, when I married a fucking porn star. Okay. Nah. I'm, not <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Like, you, I didn't sign up for that. Yes, you did. You signed, that because, up. That because, you signed up for that. No, shit. because that's not that's not a fair assessment. No, that's a fair assessment. It's not because okay, all right, all right, let's flip it. Let's flip it, let's flip it. Because you know why it's you know why it's fair? Because you could go <laughs> You go to a family function and niggas in the corner be like, damn, I jerked off to Mitchell. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, all right, okay, so so let's say this. Like you put yourself in that predicament. I mean, okay, though. all right. So, <laughs> is that, so is that the same? Is that the same as a female marrying a nigga that was just out here? Is that the same? Because you can say, no, all right, I, you, not, because you say I stepped into that world. I married a nigga that was a player. He can't change. I mean, if you if you knew that going into it, then yeah, that like that's the same. If you but that's, going into but that's not a fair but assessment. See, it, it is because at the same, I'm just a nigga on the street. I'm just, I might be like fucking, you know, zone 15, zone 16, zone 17. No, that's it. These niggas know your woman but, worldwide. But what I'm saying your, is, your woman was sucking dick. But what I'm <laughs> internationally known. But what I'm like, saying is, but what I'm known. saying, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> is that a fair assessment to say about her that you knew what you was getting into when you married her? Because that's the same as a chick could say the same about me. Yes. You know what I'm yes, saying? It's, it's that nigga, he hit this. He was out here. And, and now, knew, but now I'm, okay, oh, oh, but now I'm telling you, like, that ain't what I want no more. That's not the life I'm living. I don't want that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? People can say that to you, like, you know, you know, you, you really marrying this nigga? You know what, you know what he was? You know what you getting? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't I think that's a fair stigma to put on her. I understand what you're saying, but you like this. Because I don't want nobody to say this shit about me, trust me. It's a it's a difference though, bitch. Like you are Baltimore known. This bitch is international. <laughs> <laughs> the <Man>. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just disrespect <laughs> me? <laughs> but you know what I'm trying you know what I'm getting at though. I know what you're saying. But, like, yo, this, this woman is internationally known. Like, yo. I ain't never heard of. When he said Jay the Fire, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, no. Still, it's they said this, whatever the fuck her name is, I never. You about your porn like three years yeah, ago. Yeah, you just jumped <laughs> in the game. You just jumped in the game, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> then you might be at it. You got me. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but also, you know, people are creatures of habit, too. So when she's getting low in the pocket, yeah, that's, the that's, first that's thing that's she... To get yeah, so she's like, oh. It's better, it's better than her doing that than going out fucking on camera. And that's, and that's all she was saying to him. But it's better than he her, wasn't hearing you know, that though. Busting it over. Cause I'm, I mean, but are you? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm not. That's but, what I'm yeah, saying. But, like, it's no way to justify the shit to say. At least I'm not. Right. No, man, you <laughs> are. Like, you might as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't. I, I just, I just don't think you have the right to cry right now. That's all. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, you go to TMZ to cry it was crazy. Yeah, you, and then she was promoting herself the whole time. Like, she wasn't even like. Feeling sorry for herself. She's like, yeah. yeah, you know, I got, you know, singles and this, that, the third. And, you know, you can catch me here. I still got the OnlyFans. Y'all want to. I was like, bro. Yeah, you was tough as nails. <laughs> and then you saying you don't expect that man to leave. Well, my man Joe said, huh. With the camera, I was like, yeah, I know what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, this fucking ass. Motherfucking. Mm. Like, he worked, he he worked for the Timberwolves. His ass. He like, he, he worked for me. Timberwolves and shit. Got that under the table contract. Yeah. Hey, that motherfucker. Nigga. I got a moving company. He worked for me. Nigga. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they were saying yo got like a bunch of properties mm-hmm. from where he was um staying at and all the shit all over the um all over the uh NBA. Group of guys. Hold up. I forgot, I forgot her in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so listen. You crazy. So I want y'all to um I want y'all to listen to this, right? Mm-hmm. And I just want y'all to, you know, tell me what y'all would do in, in this situation. Okay? A group of guys walk by, grab your ass, and start pressing you. And your man was right there. What, you, what would you want him to do? Your husband, by the way. I want my husband to tell me, keep walking. In that situation, that's protecting. That's protection, yes. The woman. Because if you turn it into a physical altercation, y'all are both Yeah, you risk both up. of our lives. So I want what him kind to- of protection is that? Right. You got to think about the vision, not right now. That right now stuff, that's why men are in jail. 
I want my husband to say, keep walking. Unless somebody is physically assaulting me, I don't want to lose him, and I know he don't want to lose me either. That is his protection. That is his covering. And I feel like women, a lot of times, just don't look at the bigger picture because we want our husbands to do what our fathers should have done. Mm. That's not his place. A lot of women want their husbands to prove to them that he's going to protect, that he's going to provide, that he's going to do all these things because they father dropped the ball. Mm. Go heal that with him. That's not your husband's place to do. Okay, so I, I watched that the other day. And here's my take on it. First of all, it was a contradiction in there. When she said that unless someone is physically assaulting you, a nigga grabbing your ass is physically assault. Indeed it is. <laughs> That is physical assault. I think she, but she meant getting punched in the yeah, face. I but. mean, I understand that, but at the same time, um, it's tough because my pride not going to let me just let a nigga just grab my woman ass. Like, I don't care. I don't care how many niggas it is. Like, we, I'm going to get my ass whipped, but you, you, I'm swinging. Like, I'm sorry. And the whole daddy issue thing, I think that was just completely pointless. Like, I I don't see where that relates <laughs> to the to the situation at hand. But okay, what you think? Yeah, you not grab her ass. That's yeah. that's not gonna happen. No. Nah, um. Yeah, we gonna be on the news. We gonna be on the news. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. And I I'm be honest. I think a lot of women like. Would probably fight with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but you don't, you really don't want to put her in that. Yeah, no doubt. Either. But what I'm saying is, like, you fighting, they gonna be like, oh no, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I don't think yeah, like you said, my pride just be like, yo, don't do that no more, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I I don't know, I I can't. <sighs> That's a tough one. It is a tough one. That's a tough one. Because it's like. Because he said a group. Yeah. So that could have yeah. been about 10 niggas. Yeah, and then it's like you, you ready to lose your life or ass grab, though. Because that's like, like that's like you go to the to the jacks to pick up a girl and all these niggas outside. And then mm-hmm. and you I'm, go, I'm, y'all, you I'm walking out with situation. her and the niggas, one of the niggas like, that's Al joint. I've been in that situation. <laughs> like, you got to fight the whole hood. Yes, sir. I've definitely been in that situation. It's not. So y'all fight? Yeah, yeah I'm fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, hold up. Let me back you up. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Let me back you up. <laughs> There's like 10 bodybuilders in there. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> we out here, baby. What you got? Yo, they going. stiff, yo. They can't swing on you, yo. Them niggas can't even turn and wipe their ass. Yeah. Man, you good on them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our very own BP. Posted this little list earlier, and then she had something to say behind it. So I told her ass, I said, I'm reading this. So it says, woman drops list of things you should do for your man as a woman. Mm. So the question at the time said, did you even meet the qualifications of everything that you're requiring of a man? This list, the with these lists that y'all are creating. So, number one is be his safe place. Comfort zone, feel like home. (laughs) Number two is listen. Listen. Be understanding, be patient. Mind you, this is written by a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they failed already. (laughs) Four, feed his soul. No, this is three. Three and four is feed his soul. Five, love him unconditionally. Six, pray for him. Mm -hmm. Seven, be his peace. Mm. Eight, be his best friend. Nine, uplift, encourage, support him, believe in him. Mm -hmm. Ten, give forgiveness, grace, and be compassionate. Number 11, understand him. Number 12, (laughs) give him space. (laughs) Number 13, cook for him. Feed him. Fuck up his mother or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feed him. Uh-huh. 
home cooked meal. Oh no, she fourteen respect him. Fifteen be submissive, showing him says letting him lead, showing him to lead. What does it say? Allowing him to lead. I'm sorry. Mm. <clears throat> add value. Sixteen is add value to his life. Seventeen, be nurturing. Eighteen, heal and grow with him. Nineteen, give him king treatment. Twenty, have a spiritual connection. Twenty-one, help him become a better man. Twenty-two, be able to take care of yourself. Twenty-three, never look at what a man can do for you financially. Twenty-four, take away his problems, bring balance. And number 25, take his soul. So our friend, B. Pizzle, said, I agree with everything except number five and number 23. What's number five again? Number five, love him unconditionally. Damn. <laughs> so she said, in any type of relationship, friends, lovers, etc., should always be conditional. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up to be used and abused. That sounds like hurt talk. That's all. Somebody, she been hurt. Because <laughs> I think that you can love someone unconditionally. You can. You can. I don't. I don't. I. I. I We've I, had I this conversation yeah. before. So that one I don't agree with. And she says, as for number 23, who wants to deal with a broke man? There you go. This is not to say you always got your hand out, but if the need arises, you should be confident your man got you. (sighs) So I kind of think that number 23 was kind of, I don't know, maybe she took it out of context. I don't know. Read 23 again. It says, never look at what a man can do for you financially. Yeah, take care of your fucking self. That was what number 22 was. So I don't... I don't think that this is saying that a man shouldn't do for you. Mm -hmm. But basically it's saying don't depend on him 100% financially. Like, is this... It's like back to when we had that conversation about um, getting your nails done and shit like that. Like, if you can't do it on your own, like, allow me to... Allow me to want to do that for you. Like, don't just depend on me to do that for you. You understand what I'm saying? I, you know, I totally, you know, <laughs> I told you that from the giddy up. Like, if it's what I require of you to yeah. have that shit done, if then I'm def- yes, then I that's, should that's pay for. That's it. different. Yeah, if I require that's that. Different. But as a luxury for you, it's me saying I can pay for, it, but I don't have to. Exactly. So, BP. Get your shit together. <laughs> Nobody fucking with you with that bullshit. <laughs> hey, yo. But we still love you here. That's debatable. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What's a hard pill for y'all to swallow when it comes to hip hop? This comment says that it will forever change, and I'm cool with that, but whatever era you loved, it will never be like that again. I know what the hardest pill for me to swallow is in rap. That they just be letting anybody in this motherfucker. Mm. They just be letting anybody in. That's the same thing with it's going to forever change. But it's just, I just can't. Like, they just be letting anybody in. Like, I was listening to um that new Gucci joint. Mm. And he got a song with Lil Baby. And I'm just like, why is this nigga here? Like, Lil Baby has his moments. But on that particular, I wasn't feeling. Then he had these other two niggas. They sound like 12 o'clock boys or something. I don't know. It was just horrible. Like, they just be like anybody in the fucking game. Like, I don't. Well. That's my my biggest pill. I mean, I understand it. But you don't listen to nobody past 2017. And 2007, so. I mean. So, you've. I mean, like. I used to think that way, too. But. You gotta, you gotta, you understand it is for what it is now. And that's why it's tough for me. Yeah. Like, I can't. What like about it's you? A, huh? What's up? 
I said, do you have something that Don't think too hard, bro. Break my brain. <laughs> what about you, Jorge? Hey, why this nigga over here contemplate? Um, that it's forever gonna be a young person sport. Like you, you won't respect the legacies. You know what I mean? Like you, after thirty five, they don't. They look at you like, why are you still sitting there? You know what I mean? But yeah. every other genre, you know what I mean? They they respect all the elders. So. Right. But hip hop won't ever be that way. That's. It. Bro, I agree with him. Cause you get it a lot. These I, niggas, can't get, I can't give you a hundred percent on that. A lot of these niggas, they don't. They, yeah. they they don't respect your uncle, nigga. They don't at all. A lot of them. It's few and far between of these niggas that's younger. Yeah. Like they don't respect your fucking uncle. And you see Wayne, he almost died twice trying to be young. He he trying to keep up with them niggas sipping on the lean and all that shit. Like yeah, a lot of these they it's it's their peers that respect them. Mm-hmm. But these young niggas, they ain't shouting yeah. them out. When they ask who their influences yeah. is, they don't say. Yeah, them you niggas. ask any old chopper who his influence is. It won't be Nas. Whole. Yeah, he said Nas in the interview before. What did he say about Nas? He he said uh, what interview was it? It was um, who show did I see him on? And he definitely said Nas he, is one of his influences. He might have, but it's a lot of these <coughs> young niggas that don't don't do that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they like they want the niggas that's closest to. Yeah, hey, it's the same thing with yeah. basketball. A lot of them niggas, they don't say Mike, they say LeBron. Mm-hmm. Or Mike, some of the niggas now, they might say KD. You yeah. know what I mean? But, yeah, some little uh, some little white kid had a sign at one time, like, sorry, MJ, but uh, KD's my goat. Yeah, like, they, so you have to, so what he's saying, I 100% yeah. agree with that because a lot of them niggas don't, yo. When they ask them who their influences mm-hmm. is, it's, they don't respect them niggas. Or they be like, oh, he in the way. Yeah. They say Hove was in the way for a long time. I just, from Thomas, me and nigga was talking earlier, you're about to be 60 soon. That's yeah. Yo. <laughs> so yeah. That's, I mean, that's wild as shit. I mean, he probably could give, still give like a lot of these niggas a run for their money, but right. it's just, it ain't, it ain't the run that I would, like younger niggas are going to mm-hmm. respect. Us in this room are respected, but the average yeah. like nineteen, twenty year old, they like, what the fuck is he talking about? They baby? starting to they starting to call Drake old. That's how I, that's how I know. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean Drake been in there for a while though. Thirty five, thirty six, how old Drake? But Drake Drake what what's this, twenty three? So Drake yeah. been in the game like fourteen, fifteen years. Yeah, he's, he's old head. Like eight. I think mm-hmm. 08, 07, mm-hmm. Yeah, Thank Me Later came out in 09, but then his yeah. mixtapes before that. So, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah. So, it's about 15 years. So, you don't have anything? Um, I was. I'm going to say the hardest pill for me to swallow is that Eminem really be fucking niggas up on their own track show. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a hard pill to swallow, yo. All the time. So you finally admitting that he or you're not gonna admit that ever. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to you like this. <laughs> and I said this in one of our earlier episodes. M was crazy with the wordplay in that song. Crazy. But what the fuck was that relatable to? Not a damn like thing. not a goddamn thing. Most of the shit that he says is, but and that's what that's what I'm saying. Hard. It was hard because the wordplay was was there, mm-hmm. but what the mm-hmm. fuck he was actually saying, the actual substance of what he was mm-hmm. saying was was nothing. I don't think I've ever heard a rapper here that had substance besides um, what's the name? Lose yourself. Oh, you talking about Eminem? Yeah. Yes. So on Dead Wrong, did he get big? No, Stan. Stan had substance. It was okay. a story. Because he, um, he he did exactly the same thing on Dead Ron that he did on Renegade. Yeah, but <laughs> big big two verses was crazy. <laughs> but he but I ain't gonna lie, he killed that shit. Devil worshiping horses says human sacrifices, <laughs> animals, candles of exorcism, camels are having sex with men. Yeah. He <laughs> he bodied that shit. <laughs> he did. I I love that verse. Like it was crazy as hell, but he definitely um 
He definitely killed that. So, and people in the comments below, did, did like, M did I mean, M get big? The shit that Jay said was relatable. It was. Like, yeah, but it just it, didn't it, it, sound it, like, like you fucking do good as you couldn't do good in marriage. It didn't sound as good as that. Yeah. It depends on who's. <laughs> and plus, he was new. He was like the shiny new toy too when he came, when he did Renegade Eminem. He was. No, he wasn't. It was like two, three years in. He's still the yeah, shiny new toy. Was, that, nigga, that was, that was like 01. Yeah. <laughs> and M hadn't been in the game that Yeah, long. 99. Been in the game. Like three no. years. Yeah. The white people knew M for like yeah. two, three years. Yeah. So he was like the shiny new toy. That was, that was pre um, Eminem show. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> and I'm just going to touch on this real quick because. Finally, somebody that made this nigga bitch up since the Migos. But this nigga DJ Academic Show, I want this motherfucking <laughs> Santana nigga to do this nigga in. Whatever you got to uh, do to get his, this nigga out his, the way. His, his, his virtues have been threatened. Yes. I'll this shut nigga the fuck out here crying and all that. <laughs> you know, he, see, you know, academics don't really go at niggas. He always had something to say about women. And mm-hmm. He's very disrespectful. <clears throat> and he went at Carisha for no reason. And motherfucker, her little homeboy slash homegirl all in one, the nigga Santana. Big Saucy. Yeah. Yo was, <laughs> yo was like, say that shit to me, nigga. You yep. know what I mean? And So he pissed up with a transfer? Ac- Academics said, meet me at the headquarters. Mm-hmm. Yo was like, headquarters? Nigga, meet me on the street. Mm-hmm. We fight wherever. Yep. And yo told him once he whipped his ass. You know what I mean? He was going to get in his ass he, like a gerbil, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he said well, he... So he's going to whip his ass and fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get, he get in that hot pocket. He's going to that Dwight Howard shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this nigga was crying. Yeah. And he was crying. <laughs> like, I'm trying right. to be... Uh... That's because he reached out to his people and they was like, we ain't touching that. Yeah. Even... <laughs> and you know and you know that he really had to be getting on niggas' nerves anytime Queen Latifah jumped in and said something. Mm-hmm. Queen Latifah don't say shit about nothing. She even jumped in like she told her this nigga, but like why? Like that girl don't be he he only do that to women, yo. Yeah, Mom, them chicks don't be saying nothing to him, and then they so they brought up a, they resurfaced the old clip when he was on Complex, and that nigga Vince Mensa called Vic Mensa called him a bitch. Yeah, and yo was like, in what sense of the word? Mm-hmm. Ain't no nigga ever will call me no bitch, and I'm gonna ask him that. Yeah, what you mean by that? Yeah, <laughs> in what sense of the word am I a bitch? What do you mean, yep. nigga? You about to find out from this nigga Santana yeah, what yeah. sense of the word. You keep fucking around. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got for this shit I came across. <laughs> but Vic, Vic out that mob, though. So. Yeah, yeah. But, but but see, Vic was like, Vic, Vic Mensa was mad because he had said like some, he was talking shit about a lot of Chicago niggas. Mm-hmm. Like he was saying some foul shit. And yo was like, you talked about a nigga that i know known since I was five and Academics was like, but I said, it was like, you said nothing negative. He was like, nigga, I was waiting to see you. Mm-hmm. It was like going to his fucking What the fuck will make him say something about Chicago nigga, bro? He, he know that they crazy he, out there, He was bitch. saying something about that drill shit. Yeah. But, you, but you have to realize, you have niggas that like hide behind that mic. He don't, yeah, you know. Yeah, you he ain't think, never going to step foot in Chicago. Well, he said he, he was saying he had got love in Chicago or whatever, whatever. Like, it was a. It was a whole thing. This, he, was, this was a yeah. minute ago when he was with Joe Buttons. Yeah, he went on a rant um, on his Discord. And he said, y'all say all y'all want, but when y'all see me, it's all handshakes and hugs, nigga. Like, he talk, he talk real spicy. Yeah, he wild, yo. Yeah. Like, so when he, talk, when he talk about AYS, y'all better, y'all better not handshake or hug this nigga. I'm talking what? about y'all. Fuck him. <laughs> I ain't never liked that nigga since he was on Complex. He's always a fucking clown to me. I never heard him DJ, but your name is DJ yeah. Academics. Like, yep. You look like you sit in your video game chair in your room and do your thing. Joe Button told him. He said yeah. one day. He had, um, one day it's going to happen for he you. Couple, he had a couple of mixtapes. <clears throat> you heard one? Yeah. He, no. You sure the Baltimore nigga no, I'm talking, them? no, I'm talking about like they had like like the mixtape mixtapes back then. Oh, I ain't, I ain't never heard of this nigga until he was <clears throat> on there. Hmm. I just know him for talking spicy. That's yeah, it. exactly. That's it. That's it. But yeah, on that note, it's a word from our motherfucking sponsor. Hey everybody, what's going on? This is boy Pablo, aka Grandma's favorite grandson. Do you have a podcast? You a comedian? You a TikToker? You a creator? 
come on over to South Carolinas. We'll take care of you, man. You know, we are a group of creatives who've been doing this for a little over two years now, and we ain't never going to stop. So come on in, baby. And we are back with BP's motherfucking bulletin. Shout out to BP and her unconditional love. Yeah, eh? So, do you guys agree or disagree with this crazy motherfucker? Charleston White says single moms can't raise sons on their own. Do y'all agree or disagree with that? Mm. Not wholeheartedly. They can. Depends on how the mother grew up. What you mean? Like some some women grew up okay, just because her son doesn't have a father figure in his life doesn't mean she didn't have a father figure in hers. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So she can still take the pointers that she's learned from her father and instill it into her son. Hmm. Okay. Um I think you can you can raise the kid, but it's still gonna be a piece missing. Like it's always gonna be a piece missing. Yeah, so like if like, she grew up hard, she'll teach her son survival. You know what I mean? If she grew up loved, she's gonna teach him that. So yeah, it's always gonna be a piece missing, but you can definitely do it. It's, it's, it's definitely a thing. Um Shout out Barack Obama. His mama did it, so I think that <clears throat> it's possible. But like, you know, you still need some kind of masculine figure in your life to teach you something that the mother can't. You know what I mean? Like Like what, sir? Like I'm, like you, put the condom on, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even with like, like with like with my son, you know, his mother would be like, you know, like when she was trying to teach him to use the bathroom, she mm-hmm. like, I can't show him how to grab his, you know, what yeah. I'm saying? grab his shit and use it. You have to show him that. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. She can't do that. Um, it's just like. Certain things sometimes like you just need your you need a man to show you the way of how to handle certain situations. Maybe your mother might have your mother might have been thugging in these streets and show you like don't let nobody, you mm-hmm. know, blah blah blah, whatever, whatever. But sometimes you just need that that oomph to show you like this is what you do mm-hmm. and don't let up. You know what I'm saying? Like, your mother may be a little bit more compassionate when it comes to shit like that. You know, so there's, like, gotcha. there has to be, there's something that a man can. Has to be a reference of some yeah. sort. Yeah. Yeah. It's always so, like, it's always like that's, that. I, but, like, I'm not discounting what a mother can do. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, it always helps to have a pair of balls around to show, you know, <laughs> the kid something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it helps. And let me see. She has this here. It says, this man believes that men love more authentically than women because men aren't socialized to fall in love. It says, women are so in love with the idea that they'll stick anybody in that spot. Yeah, I like it. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I ain't got shit to say about that. I like it. Except for them hard ones. Yeah, the, the ones that, that are looking for that love. Yeah, that's it. They don't give a fuck who sit there. No, that does. No, no, no. I seen it. Them, them motherfuckers. That, no. This motherfucker done been to jail 18 I, times. I this can't n- this nigga done slept with her cousin. <laughs> but guess what? That's my man, my man, my man. And that's, uh, and that's, and that's how they do it. Okay? I can't agree with that. Oh, man. man. I, I, <laughs> he went off for a second, man. Bro, I'm saying, like the, those the fucking uh, 
Oh. The hip hop side chick um, documentary. Don't say hip hop side. Snoop's, job, Snoop's wife literally said at the end of the documentary, "He's mine. You may have him once, but I got him all the time, nigga. They don't care. That's goes, unconditional love. That, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's called unconditional that love. Back, that goes back to the previous about dating the point. Like you know what you're getting yourself into ah. when you mess with Snoop Dogg." You mess with T. But she, but she was with you, Snoop before. Like. She was with Snoop in high school. Yeah, so I'm pr- like I'm pretty sure he was. He was hot. He was holding in yeah, high school. Pre- yeah. That's <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm but you can't. Like, but that's why you can't. But I don't. I told you. I don't think you can say that. Like that's that's not a fair assessment. Okay. It is. It is. It's not a fair assessment, yo. Like. You I joked knew. around last week and you, called myself what I called myself. You. But knew that's what you was getting yourself into when you started dealing with. But I called myself what I called myself, but that doesn't mean that that's who you're going to get when you're with me. That is true, but there's always that person there, though. It's always no, he's person. not always there. If I it's eliminate the motherfucker and got rid of him, mm-hmm. you're not going to sit there and say that, motherfucker, because nah, that motherfucker's out no, of No, that motherfucker could come back, though. He's in the elimination he can come chamber. Back. He could come back. Listen. He could come back. Listen, he, that shit be like... For me, it'd be like Infinity Wars when they was like, "Man, call your dude," and the hawk like, "Oh," and then you put him back in. I don't. That's me. Back in. No, he come. He back. never coming out. He come back. Never. Trust me. I mean, he come back. Something might trigger. And but you know what? And yeah, here's like, the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. here's the thing. He, you know, you said he, he, you know, he went back in. He came back out. And, and look, he popped and he, his head. He, but he then popped out. Like, look, no. like hold up, let me go. Back. He, he, he he's still there no. though. He's still there. He's still there. I'm saying like, you might come home one he's day. He's still there. Somebody getting you, slow stroke. You know what? <clears throat> See, you when they make the, when no, they, I'm just saying that, that when was, they make the <laughs> next Avengers movie, he's back. He is. It's, it's, he's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back. And he's fucking something up. <laughs> exactly. exactly. My man exactly. is stuck in infinity. <laughs> yeah. exactly. My man is stuck in infinity. He's go, he's, he ain't coming. He's out. coming back. But back to the topic. He like, he like, show you on Family Matters went upstairs. She ain't come back down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, it's done. Damn, that's fucked up. And then what she, what she turned out to be? A whole porn star. Exactly. <laughs> I follow her too. Shout out to her. <laughs> So you don't agree with him? You know, I forgot what the fuck. The <laughs> I forgot what the fuck the topic was. I fucked you up. Yeah, bad. you fucked me up just a little bit. It says that women are so in love with the idea that they'll stick anybody in that spot. No, nah, I can't wholeheartedly agree with that. No, I can't. So you don't think women just love love and they don't love anybody? I mean... Because that's what this motherfucker is saying. They, Women love yeah. love, but I don't think they just out here just trying to just get it from anybody. Not all women, anyway. Now, there are there are some women who do, who are like that, but not all women. Some, a lot of women, you just gotta show them love. That's it. They don't give a fuck where it comes. Nah, from. It's, it's, it's a lot of scorn women out here who don't. You, nah, I ain't I, brave enough to say that out loud. <laughs> Wait, this is a safe space. It's not. This is a safe space. No, it's Listen not. What you guys say? No, the fuck is not. <laughs> and I'll say this: that, um, okay. So to his point, I've seen that happen. Mm-hmm. Where a female like wanted, just wanted. To be loved by somebody. And the first motherfucker to come around and showed you any kind of affection yeah, and rainbows and fucking cotton candy, it was like, okay. Yeah, yeah what they believe love is. Yeah, so that yeah. it can happen. I'm not saying that it can. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as men being more authentically. Um, I think sometimes. Well, 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 well. I think sometimes. Hey, go ahead. What? At the same time, Mitch. Go ahead. You, there's there's guy code that you have to <laughs> abide by before you start talking on, on this air. Okay. Right. So right. censor what you about to say because there's still guy. You still signed a contract. 
right. of sticking to the guy cool. All right. Can we go to a break for a second? Go to a slight break. It's a slight break. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> I was I think that men this nigga snitch. <laughs> I'm not ready to snitch. So I think that we do look for it in a more efficient way. I do believe that. I mean, then I I can I can see that. I think we look for it in a more efficient way. Like when we looking for it, it's not. Oh, she showed me some attention, so I'm going to make her my girl. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that for us. We more look at it like, is she treating me what, you know, what I, for what I what I'm looking for? Mm. So I that's that's the way I'll say that it's a little bit different for us. Okay, I can see that, and I'm gonna leave it at that because I had because <laughs> I had more, but I'm gonna leave Woo! it at that. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't trust me? No. It, it, it got a little shaky right there. It got a little shaky. How y'all not going to trust me? I told you I had y'all. Okay. I would never. Come on, man. What my nigga Jody said, I would never break the code. <laughs> okay. I'm just, just making sure. Oh, man. <laughs> y'all crazy for that one. So, um, her next question was, though, who has the better Air Force song, Jeezy or Nelly? <laughs> Technically, Nelly. Yeah, because the song was actually about Air Forces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jeezy's was it, it just had this name Air Force in there. It was right. a trap song. But that's that's just, that's an internet question actually mm-hmm. now right right now. <sighs> Nelly, because Nelly actually stood for wearing Air Force Ones. Right. Jeezy just talked about trapping and, you know, he just threw Air Force in there. So. Right. But that's just, you know. All right. Yeah, I'm, gonna one now. I'm going with him, too. I was going to listen to and I was like, no, nope, I already know what I like because that was a bop. So they say, you man, they say Marvel was considering getting rid of Jonathan Majors from future films. And this, um,. They was looking forward to him, you know, being the character or whatever, but now they say more victims have came forward since his, after him getting arrested. So they don't think they want nothing to do with him. Which I'm fine with that, because he's a bitch-ass nigga anyway. Damn. He stopped the two white girls from fighting, bro. All oh, that phony-ass <laughs> shit. We all know that shit was phony, dog. <laughs> Damn. Um, and he went, and he went Megan. Come on, man. She a dummy. <laughs> Megan, come on the show. To tell your side of the story. Nah, we good. <laughs> Define future <laughs> roles. Huh. Define future roles, though. Him being in the um, you know, by him being in the Loki joint. Yeah. And they were going to keep using him as a villain. Yeah, he's supposed to be in Marvel, um, the Avengers yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah he's he supposed to. Be- yeah. Dynasty of Kang. Yeah, yep. so he, he pulls, yeah, so he. That's what I'm saying. Is that where it's going to stop it? Nah, he put this. Or they pulling the plug on the Dynasty uh, on him? They had, they had, they just they pulling the plug on him, not that whole thing. <laughs> they gonna have a new person. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Are they pulling the plug on him playing Kang? Or yeah, it's gonna be a new black man in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate. See, this is I hate when uh, superhero movies do that shit. Like. This is not who the fuck I came to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, yo. I didn't come to see him, though. I'm just, I'm just saying like every Told fucking. That's why I didn't someone every, see Creed. That's been what? Four fucking different storms. Like, I didn't, uh-huh. I didn't come to see all these bitches. I mean, I'm sorry. Damn. God. <laughs> you say it like that. But like. <laughs> I didn't even say it like that. But God damn. Like, it's been like. How many storms have we seen? It's been more than Halle? Yes. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yes. Yeah, yeah Holly stopped a long time ago. <laughs> it's been 32 Batmans. Now that's... <laughs> well, you know, he's not even the main... He's not even the reason I watch his movies. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The villains is why I watch this nigga shit. It's been fucking 12 Supermans. Hmm? I thought it was just Christopher Reeves, the nigga that it's was on more, TV, and then two. this new nigga now. Three. 
It's only been three, right? Hey, yeah. nobody, I don't, I'm and, not and coming to keep seeing different Reeves, fucking people. George Reeves and uh, there's been a lot of there have been a lot of Batman's though. Oh yeah, hell yeah, because they, they the money go up. You know, now they, see, the they couldn't afford Michael Keaton. Now, it's, it's a difference. <laughs> it's a difference when you do it like how Marvel did it with putting Black Cat in that. Like you understood uh-huh. why he is Black Cat though. He's not taking Captain America's spot. He's more he, Black Falcon. He's already black, yo. Like yeah. <laughs> he's not taking Falcon like a, a white man's spot in his Falcon. But you mean why do you keep like, calling him Black Falcon? But you mean like <laughs> fucking <man. laughs> He's not taking a white man's spot as Falcon, Falcon though. Yo. But you talking about like the Hulk when they switched the Hulks up. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't like I don't like I don't like that shit. first Hulk shit was trash though. Well that well yeah, yeah they needed to just take yeah. the whole Hulk out of there altogether. But I don't want to see trash. Jonathan Majors do nothing. Damn, nothing? That's crazy. I don't like him, yo. That's crazy. He's such a sucker MC. I don't I don't care about him personally as a person, but as, as fucking Kang, he's I liked his role. He was good in Creed Three. I didn't want to see it. He was good in that. I, I didn't like the end, but I told you good. I didn't like how him and Homeboy they was always hugged up too much. That ain't got I nothing know. to do with the movie. They make me want to watch it. Okay. It's Black Boy Joy, yo. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been that happy with another nigga. I'm good. So, to you, yeah, I, um, I don't really want to see them pull the plug on Jonathan Majors. I'm getting like you against it. Yeah, no protest. Uh, and just I'm not doing that shit. But um, at least let the can the dynasty of Kang come out, and then you can do whatever you want with his character. Well, you, you know, with AI, it, <laughs> he can do the whole shit. They just put another motherfucker face on it and call it a day. They put fucking Mitch face on that nigga. I'm good on that. Jonathan Major is sued the shit out of Marvel. There will be no more Marvel if you do some shit like that. Bruh. You you can't just do my voice and then have a whole other (laughs) fucking person up there. Like, it just don't work like that. Well, I've learned that AI, you switch your voice up and all that shit, bruh. So, technically, it's just his body doing the work. Yeah, because that, that, um... Cause that shit they had, they put Will Smith voice on when he was fussing Jada out. And mm-hmm. we were saying that shit about Jada. That shit was wild. Yeah. And I really thought it was him. And then I was like, "What the That's fuck? AI. Did you hear that? Yeah, but you're not when getting he paid was, for that though. Huh? You're not paying for that though. I'm just saying that was gangster. Yeah, he, what he's shit. talking about is just completely illegal. I mean, like, <laughs> but that that shit should have been illegal. What they yeah, did because he was pay, you're not he was sick, going you're not ham. Right. Out for payment for that though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if you if that person who did that starts getting paid over that, Will Smith can sue the shit out there. What he's talking about is we completely go with his ass, illegal. That was rough. Like, <laughs> there's nothing legal about what he just said at all. Oh. It's coming though. He one of them niggas who sit in the fucking movie theaters with his camera out, videotaping the whole fucking thing. God and damn. Telling them. And you told me, and you told me not to let no secrets out. God damn. Yo. But I'm just saying though, like what he just said was completely illegal. All right, yo. <laughs> I'm going to put All right, watch Jonathan Major's going to be The co-host today What's he playing? Okay <laughs> <laughs> Yo Yo Yeah, yeah I got more I don't want him here I don't I don't want him here with me Jonathan Major If you want to use Some shit like that Yeah, I, I don't better, want him here with me I got better me. people You can sit right here If you put him there You put another nigga In this seat <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want nothing right, To do with that nigga put Jonathan Major And Michael B There that's you go I don't want shit To do with that It will be all two this week I'm with that. I don't want shit to do with that nigga. I'm going to shoot the shit out of him. John and Major's like, yo, yo, yo. It's going to fuck everybody up. <laughs> so this <laughs> this is the last thing BP got. What immediately tells you that a person wasn't raised right? Manners. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Motherfucker that. I say that. And I say motherfuckers that just uh like just straight disrespect their elders and shit. It's the same thing as manners. No, nah, I don't mean like that. I don't even mean like <coughs> manners to me is like you come in the room and you speak to everybody. Or you come into somebody's house and you speak. I look at that as manners. I'm talking about respect. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers just be going hard. Like I mean, like we used to be in the in the old shop, and it'd be like all these sixty and seventy year old women in there, and he'd be like, "Bitch, bitch, bitch," you know what I'm saying? A nigga, like you can't be this ladies in here, dog. You gotta relax. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you wasn't raised right because you just yelled out, "Bitch!" <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. 
But that to me, that means you wasn't raised right. <laughs> Still coexist with that manners, though. <laughs> I, I think I like I said. I look at manners and respect as a totally different. Because I don't have no manners. I don't go in the room and speak. Yeah. Wait till my fucking speak to me. That's that's not it's the same thing, <laughs> it's the same thing as being disrespectful. Uh, maybe, maybe it, not. They still go hand in hand. Manners and respect go hand in hand. Yes, sir. See, that's manners. You Fuck know. you. See, and that's just <laughs> <respect. laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> they go hand in hand. Uh, right, not. right. <laughs> yeah, because I still say ma'am. And, and women like, don't call me no ma'am. I'm not a I ma'am. I still say that too. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm no. Like older women even said it. Like, don't call me ma'am. Yeah, my mother, she always hated that shit. Yeah. But we had to call my father's mother, mm-hmm. ma'am. And so when I came home, my mother was like, don't call me that. Right. She went with none of that. But that's all I got for BP's bulletin. We're going to take a little break and come back with this nigga. And we are back with the Mac Station. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> and that is choo choo. At gmail.com <laughs> for all your insults and uh, disagreements. What do you have for us you today, sir? <laughs> all right, so I was going to talk about that that shit earlier, but you know, since you beat me to it, you had to uh, bring that up. Okay, yeah. whatever. <laughs> that was definitely now, all. Now I do have, I, I do, <laughs> I do want to. It's a it's a side question I had to go with that though. Okay. So, and this is speaking about the chick getting grabbed on the ass by yeah. the group of niggas. Yeah. So you know. Go so ahead. so is it one person in the group or the entire group grabbing the ass? That's absurd, right there. I'm just asking the question. I mean, it could have happened that way. Yeah. <laughs> it could have. It could have been the assembly line. No, that's so not it. Cause that I didn't know. Because if it's just one, I can swing on one, and we can get the fuck away. Yeah, all right. There ain't no getting away. From I'm getting you. away. If she ain't fast enough, then we just want to talk about that later. Yo, crap. <laughs> Leave yeah, you might want to let the nigga smack on the ass. She, she already did. Ain't no fight. Ain't, you oh, yeah, wild man, for that, this guy. Yeah. You were wild for that. What are you about to say, yo? Okay, so <laughs> that's that's crazy. Damn. <laughs> so, okay. She a runner. She a track star. So, yo, wow. <laughs> so, we had a conversation um, earlier this week, and it brought me to a, brought me to a question that I wanted to ask. So, let's just say you're out, right? mm-hmm. and you get jumped. Let's say three three dudes jump you, right? What's a jump, yo? We from Baltimore, and then we get banked. Same thing. Go ahead. Say you get banked by three different, like three dudes banking you, whatever. Uh huh. So that's an unfair fight. Am I right or wrong? Now, people, I mean, I don't know how, some people look at banking people, you know, is that's frowned upon and all that other shit. Okay. So, it's three on one on you. Mm-hmm. I'm over here and I see you. I'm with seven different, seven different people. Now, is it, is it still unfair when it's eight of us on three now? Nah. Not at all. So that, do you, can still, do you consider that banking somebody though? If it's now, now is the numbers are outweighed. Yeah, we still be. Yeah, we bite the legs. The fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. That's the cavalry. So <laughs> you, I mean, okay, but what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get at is, it's frowned upon when it's three on one, but when the when it's, the numbers get outweighed, why isn't it frowned upon then? Because you niggas started this shit, mm-hmm. and now we. Ready what if they didn't it? start of it though? What if you started it? Don't matter. We ready to finish it. <laughs> what if you started the shit, though? I'm just going to go arbitrarily start a fight with three niggas? No, you might not start a fight Fuck with three I look niggas. Like. You might start a fight with one. I know my attitude one. is fucked up. You but might I start a just, fight with one, and then he I'm got two even, people with him, though. I'm not even that nigga like, to start a fight, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you look at me? I'm not. I'm really not that person. Like, boom, yo. Boom. I'm really not that guy, yo. Like, I'm very, like, I'm non-confrontational. I just, people bother me, and then I bother them back. But I don't just go out, I should knock that nigga out. I don't do that. But, let's just, so you saying if I went and started with this nigga, me, I'm arguing, right? Okay, let's just, let's go. I'm arguing with this nigga. Mm-hmm. 
and me and him get to fight, and his homeboys help him out. Right. Them niggas bite. Okay. And then y'all come through. Yeah. We supposed to wear them niggas out. Like I don't understand what the what, what that's, the that's problem. That's like karma to me. That's what it sounds like to you. Yeah, that sounds like karma. Okay. I'm just I'm just because <laughs> you never even weighed in the other night when I just put that in the. In our group chat, when I was asking everybody about yeah, that. I didn't weigh in because you know everything was I was gonna say was already being said, and you know I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. At first, I really didn't understand the story mm-hmm. when you first said it until like the com the conversation got. Oh. So and then I started understanding. Like, okay, so this was happening because I didn't understand what what you were saying at first. Oh. And it just. It just seemed like uh, they jumped them into, or they banked them into, you know, I got the, the context story. of yeah. what really yeah, went down. Really happened. Oh. So that's what made me ask that question, though. Cause, but your story was wild. The story that you put oh, in Oh, the one that I put in there? Oh, the yeah. That shit I mean, was Yeah. So, um, besides that, besides that, because that was going to be a little side. To, yeah, uh, it, I mean that that's just shit just happens. Shit just happens. Yeah, like it that. escalated. Like y'all started and now niggas ready to finish it. Yep. And that's the shit I came across. Yeah, because you supposed <laughs> to just you supposed <laughs> to just let me and yo do what we do. And that's that. But y'all felt like that shit don't happen no more though. I mean, I know I'm just saying, but Especially if it was like especially if like all of them was like five eight and shit, like you really think they're gonna let one on one against you? Like, really? I guess. <laughs> you seen Martin, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he got knocked out by one nigga. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't a plethora. It was just one. Now, if, I mean, if that happened to Mitch, that's just a tragedy. Mm. I don't even know if I would help him after. I don't even know if I want to be associated. Mm-mm. But Not at all. Anyway. So we gonna go on to a, a more, more lethal question. Not, not lethal, but you know, it's a different type of question than that one. Oh was. fuck! <laughs> what? Go ahead. So let's okay. In the bedroom. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna throw it out there, buddy. In the bedroom. Buddy. <laughs> What man? Let's just say your partner, oh. your partner is more sexually experienced. Like she's <laughs> done a lot of shit that you've never, never wanted to indulge in mm-hmm. before meeting her. Before right. Meeting her. And she wanted to try some of these things with you. Okay. That she's done in the past. Okay. Are you open to it or are you... It depends on what you mean by that open. Was... <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> it depends on what you mean by open. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, so let's... And yeah, you had to, to be specific because there's certain shit that I ain't let's... fucking with. <laughs> let's just say it's something you never, you never thought of. Until she came along and said, baby, I want to try this with you. Okay. Where do you draw the line at, though? Like That saucy shit. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I, I told you, I've I've said this before, like, I have rules. And there's three of them. <laughs> there's three rules I have. <laughs> there's three rules, Jack. Don't touch, don't do shit with my ass. Don't piss on me. <laughs> oh, that ain't even a fool. Like, what the don't, fuck? Don't piss on me. Some people like that shit. Yes. But who just... No, no, no. Tell me, tell me. Let's just... Let's, besides the fact that some people like that shit, who just thinks to just to pee on somebody? Like, just randomly just piss First piss off, on First off, okay. Motherfucker tie you up. They, you had their own free will. That is true. That, okay. You never been tied up before? That's what you're saying? Come on, yo. You're doing too much right now. <laughs> that, that, that's a valid question. You're doing question. too much. That's a valid question, sir. Um, yeah. Like, was you at their free will with... No, because that's never happened to me before. Okay. i never been tied up before. Okay. Okay. Handcuffed, none of that shit. That's, uh, okay. Yeah, but just to think that somebody just going to randomly just pee on you, like, that's just crazy. Motherfuckers do anything. That's my point. Like, I got rules. 
Mike Pence, nigga, my safe word. The fuck? Stop playing with me. <laughs> like, <Yo. laughs> that. You, you can't do, just don't use the bathroom on me. That's rule one. That's rule two and three. <laughs> so that, what, there was no Either thing? way. Yeah. Shit on you? Yeah. Yes. Bruh. <laughs> like, these type of fucking rules, like, where do you meet these people? With? I don't. <laughs> not, it's, listen, dog. Shit. I'm just saying, shit like, what, what, what right. happened? No, but what happened in your life that you got to put that as a rule, though? <sighs> So people don't get the... It uh, never uh, happened, but the point is... Nigga. Some people don't, don't get the wrong... Now, the thing, people the people thing are about weird shit. Like, why well, got this nigga now? The thing with, you know, that the anal shit, I mean, women, some, they try they try their hand with that sometimes, and shit, like, and shit might get out of hand, you might elbow them in the mouth or some shit. Like nigga, that. somebody but rub the my butt, they gonna come back, the finger, nail, all that shit gonna be detracted. I'm not playing. Don't touch me. But the thing... The, I just want to know, like, where have, like, what happened in your Nothing, life? motherfucker. <laughs> you keep asking this question like you trying to get to something. Like, like Gail well, King. It was oh, one Gail night King I was sleeping. Ass. I'm just, what the fuck? Like, who on, nigga? I like, what? That like, he just, <laughs> like, yo, just wild, and he just keep going. And I'm telling him, like, nothing. All right, nothing. so. And you just want to keep <laughs> antagonizing. <laughs> all the horror. Har- 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 like, I'm just going to come out and be like, just one time at bank. No, nigga. <laughs> That shit ain't never happened. The fuck? Now, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> this guy is wild, man. Next so, question. <laughs> you trying to fish something out of me? Fuck, so, crazy. So, all right, so. You're <laughs> 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 crazy. Go <laughs> ahead, man. So, oh. besides those three rules, <laughs> that, like, you open... Oh, and you ain't bringing another motherfucker with you. I was definitely about to ask. That. <laughs> I, was, I was definitely male or said. female. You're not bringing another motherfucker with you. Anything else? Female? Yeah, I'm not no threesome oh, okay. kind of guy. Gotcha. I'm very selfish. That is beautiful. That's <laughs> <laughs> very beautiful. I'm very selfish. So, what about toys? I mean, like I said, I'm good with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. None of that other shit. I'm I'm cool with all the other shit. But you know, there you go. Why not? Especially just somebody I plan on being with. Ain't just no rando. Mm, okay. No porn stars. Huh? No porn stars. Nothing like that. She got to stay retired. Not no real life. Yeah, she, got, <laughs> you know, she could be that when she with me, but not no real I life porn star. That's crazy. That was Jonah Ark in my former life. What about you, mm. sir? What up? Mm. Are you open to um a more experienced female? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm open. Uh, yes. Those same three rules apply to you. Don't touch my ass. Um, mm. but that that's that's from some old shit. Uh. It's, well, Childhood trauma, you know how that go. Um, I'm in therapy for it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why y'all asked me to talk. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Stop letting him see this. <laughs> we know. We he is saying. No. You just wanna, yo, why are you looking like my business no. tonight? Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, hold on. I just want to put out a disclaimer real quick. <laughs> when he says, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I don't. I like the people know they, I don't know Yo, this guy just want to get everybody to tonight, like, yo. I ain't put nothing on the screen. This guy, man. <laughs> I'm okay with the, the extra woman. Um, no, no, no dudes. I ain't, yeah, I ain't, I ain't that confident in my damn self. Um, hmm. but yeah, everything else, I'm open. Yeah, we can try the to, toys, all that good stuff. Piss and shit. Um, you ain't shitting on me. 
You know, ain't shitting on me. Yeah. If you want to get pissed on, we, we can we can probably talk about it. <laughs> right. He he he, he avoided that question. Didn't he? he avoided that question. I've never been pissed on, um, but you know, yeah, listen, yeah. Hey, if it happens, it happens, bro. You know, piss, piss happens. Just make sure. Guess what? When I see P, I move out the way. Hey, okay. All right, hold up, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I move out the way. Y'all not gonna do this, right? So, shorty, take a break, right? Go to the bathroom. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> you go down there, you tasting piss, bro. You stop it. That's a, that's a totally different thing. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's totally fuck. different. That's totally you, different. You the same nigga who said if you, if you let it off in their mouth, nigga, they, it's two to three business days before you have a conversation with these niggas. So how that how that's something different? Listen, that's just different. <laughs> That little that little twang shit, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> it just it ain't getting on me. And it's only a little bit. Like just it's different. Bit. Okay. It's not a stream. I'm not with none of that. That's what they made toilets for, motherfucker. Yep. So your man said it's a go. What about you there, Mac Train? <laughs> Yo. He'll say he's down for whatever. Yeah. Nah. I'm ha- I'm I gotta agree with those three rules that you got. <laughs> with the no other two you don't agree with? What? I g- I gave up five actually. No, we're not not bringing no another man in the room. Okay. Like just- so he's four for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> the four or five. I just. I'm going to put it to you like this. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. This is about to get deep. I'm going to put it to you like this. Now, if you're with me, you know what type of person I am. Mm. So, if you have the audacity to ask me to bring another man. No, we we passed that. <laughs> we passed that. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we way past that. No, you said no. No, 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 no. I, 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 I got to back, back up for a second. You have the audacity to ask me to bring another man into the bedroom. I'm going to do it. Afterwards, we are both single. You want to bring the nigga? Yo, what if he outshine you, though? So you, you walking off on a bad game. That's nasty. Not really. Not really. I'm not. I'm not doing none of that shit. <laughs> Especially like, because I mean I've expressed you know the, the shit that I've done in early in previous shows. So hmm. you go right ahead. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this, yo. Honestly, um, I couldn't I couldn't see myself doing that. Period with a, like bringing another woman, but especially with somebody that I'm with with. Like I, just, but what if she really wanted that? Like, what if that was with her fantasy? I mean, I get that, but <clears throat> I mean, I watch y'all, but I'm not participating. Mm. It's and it's for it's for a lot of reasons. Okay, I can respect that. I guess it's for a lot of reasons. I mean, I because I would feel like I would feel like I was disrespecting you. Number one, even if you was with it, I would feel like I was disrespecting you. That's that's first and foremost. That is beautiful. No, for real. And then, secondly, like I think if I did do it, we might do it again. And you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, the truth. That's that, the real truth about this. Situation. That's the second part of my. That's honesty. not. <laughs> that's that the second part, part of my honesty. Of, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. That first part was a bunch of as the world turns. Bullshit. No, that was real. This right here is the truth. <laughs> that was real. I'm dead ass serious though. I would really feel like I was disrespecting you. Like, how can I? No, nah. how can I do with her what I'm what I do with you? Like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because like what I'm supposed to, I pose a whole back. Nah, you supposed to let loose. That's what I'm saying. So why would I do that? Mm. You know what I'm like that. I wouldn't do that. I, nah, I already know like shit would be all fucked up. I'm good. So I just you know 
One on one. Straight. I don't yeah. play no away games, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to <laughs> throw out here, <laughs> motherfucker? F. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the shit that was said was yeah, a little too much. Yeah. A bit too much for me. <laughs> so go ahead with your top five this week. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you just escaped like that, yeah, huh? Yeah, like that was. Yo, week after mm-hmm. next when we come back, yo, you need to have some lyrics, yo. Cause Don't you, tell me what to do. You really let me down. <laughs> Boy. You been letting me down. So my top five for this week is your top five love songs from the 90s. Non-sexual songs from the 90s. Did you make a list, Jorge? I was not privy to what you top five was. Oh, shit. I thought you did. Why would I give this is your top five? Because usually you that's what you No, nah, this is your top five. Why would I tell him oh, so your top five? So it's just me and you? Yeah. I can, I can do five. I mean, oh, you can okay. do five on the floor. You said not, not sexy? Yeah. Not sex, yes. Non sexual. Uh, from the 90s. From the 90s. Uh, Meth and Mary. You, you, you. <laughs> they, these are love songs, like ballads, my guy. Nigga, that's, that's a fucking love that's song. That's not a ballad. Jesus. Oh, my God. Come back to me then. I gotta go ahead, right. bro. Uh, Keith Washington, kissing you. Okay, I forgot about that song. I uh, like that. Baby face. Every time I close my eyes. Um, <laughs> Mariah Carey, vision of love. Hmm. Keith Sweat. I'll give all my love to you. And, of course, you know I had to throw my aunt in there. Anita Baker, body and soul. No honorable mention? No. I just, I, it, God, it took me a long time just to narrow it down to five. Really? Yes. Did you think of anything, or should I go? Go ahead. I got, I got three so far. I said uh, All the Man I Need by Whitney Houston. Um, and then, of course, the greatest R&B song of all time, Week, SWV. <laughs> I wanted to text you and say, do not put that in there. Because Fuck you. you know, that was the greatest in, song of all time. Like It's, it's been in fuck. It's been in it's, top five. It's going to make every fucking <laughs> list that has anything to do with the 90s that's not involving niggas. Okay? This is the greatest song ever, yo. Um... Then never let you go by faith. Just gotta go with that one. Um, Give me you by Mary J. And um, crazy over you by One Twelve. And my honorable mention is gotta be by Jagged Edge. Yo, take your hands off your head, yo. That song is fucking awesome. It's better than all that shit. <laughs> Understanding all of them. All of them. You ready, Jorge? Um, yeah. So let's do Lauren Hill. Um, Killing Me Softly. Mm. Okay. It's not. It's not race specific, right? Because I, I know they love be. ballads. Okay. Um, Celine Dion, because you love me. That's not sexual. I didn't say anything. <laughs> he, he's still on killing me softly. Yeah, I'm just trying to. That's not a love song? <laughs> <laughs> She's singing, right? Nigga. Yeah, but it's really not about love, that but is, go ahead. Not, She's, in her, she, in her version is. It's the same version. It's no, the that's Roberta Flax, I'll be yeah. sure. It's the same version. But go ahead. Go uh, on, buddy. <laughs> That's, that's the kind of love he knows. <laughs> hey. Tony, Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart. Jesus Christ. Yo, bro. These are not love songs. That's not they, a love these song. just are sad. <laughs> these are going to the house, banging your head up against the wall, <laughs> and be like, bitch, why you hurt me? These are fucking songs he's listening to. Oh, all for one, I swear. Okay. All I right. Give you that okay. One. By the moon and the stars and yeah. the skies. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Savage Garden. Truly, madly, deeply. Oh, that's, that's, that's I thought one. you was ready to say the other, my my yeah. joint by them. Um, 
um, <laughs> I knew I loved you before I met you. That's Mac, fine. don't say shit. Elton John, can you feel the love tonight? Ain't that from, what movie is that from? Aladdin or one of them? The Lion King. Okay. I knew it was one of them niggas. <laughs> and uh, in Vogue, don't let go. Hold me tight. Okay, got it. We're not only a podcast. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. That's what happens when you don't be. I'm, I'm not privy. When yeah. I'm not privy, that's what happens. Yeah. Bruh. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I, listen. That right there just stressed me out. <laughs> um, That was the worst top five in history. <laughs> um, but, you know, like he said, it was last minute and it was some shit he threw together literally. Yeah. Um, don't forget, uh, the studio is for rent, yes, 3037 Hamilton Avenue, um, next oh, door. Is. This is the nice, you know, the big studio we do meet. Next door is where you can take it off and <laughs> turn up. Yeah. You can do your only fans over there. Yeah, there this you is, go. This is the business next side, door. other side is the vibe. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, and we doing subscriptions too. Okay. So well, four, $400, you come in here. Uh, whenever you feel like it, do whatever you need to do. Oh, I didn't know $400 that. a month. $400 I know a month. subscription you missed. Right? <laughs> I, was, I was out. I was out. <laughs> that Joe Smith fucked y'all up. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's hey, guess what? <laughs> $400 a month, you, you keep doing the fuck you need to do in here. I don't care. Um, Yeah, so it's about to be hoodie season on sawcarrigans.com. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm focused on that now. With the... Uh, Hoodies for the shows. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Tickets on sale now on eventbrite.com. You can go on our Are You Serious page. Um, you can go on mine. My personal. Fuck. I'm mm-hmm. going to put it on that one. I'm going to put it on my public page because, yeah, I haven't been on there in like six months. But I'm going to put it on there. I ain't want to say nothing. Yeah. I'm going to put it on there. And Matt, he has it on his. And it's also on our Facebook are you serious page and our Instagram? Yeah, and it'll be on Sarkarians as well. Yeah, so tickets on sale now, uh, December sixteenth. Ugly sweater slash pajama party. Um, Not the pajama jammy jam. Yeah, that stresses me out. But <laughs> and why is that, sir? Because I already know it's going to be fucked up. But why? Why would you think that? Uh, be- never mind. I'm, I'm a g- somebody going to be cheeked up and cheeked out. I know that much. Yeah, I'm gonna move on from it. Oh. Anyway, what else I got for y'all? Yo, you gotta relax, yo. See, these are the things that I don't say out my mouth because I respect everybody. You come in there with the leopard Nigga. print. Anyway, well, he said the jungle cat. Oh, I'm good. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, before we get out of here, we want y'all to remember one thing: we're not only a podcast, that's a show. And we out this bitch. Yeah. <laughs>